guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a February reset. I think I'm going to do these resets every month because I actually enjoy resetting for the month and just preparing myself for the month, you know? So yeah, I'm doing a February reset today. Currently 12 o'clock and I am uploading a video right now because it's currently Sunday, February 5th. So I'm like a little tiny bit late, but it's okay. I don't think it's ever too late to reset for the month. Basically, while this video is uploading i am going to go get ready for the day because i haven't gotten out of bed so i am going to use the bathroom brush my teeth i want to do my makeup put my contacts on and then i'm going to come back i do need to clean my room i want to set up my planner change my home screen for the month show you guys my playlist for this month which hasn't really changed that much and then i'm gonna do some journaling just the usual stuff i do in a monthly reset yeah that's basically what i'm gonna do in this video so let's get up and start the day <laughs> have pillows and blankets up there that I'm not gonna put it up because I am taking that to competition in like less than a month so I'm not gonna put it up I'm just gonna leave it at the bottom of my closet so that when I pack I can pack that but I am gonna put all these clothes away that I need to put away and just clean up my room a little before we get on to the rest of the stuff so that's what I'm gonna do right now also I'm wearing my ring go watch the video before this of getting ready with me for my junior ring ceremony and competition um yeah, that's my junior ring. So, let's get to cleaning. Next thing I'm gonna do, oh, I'll just read to you guys my, what's in my playlist, um, which honestly, literally has not changed, like, at all, I think, from the last time, I'm not sure. Oh, I think it did change, actually. I have Get Along Better by Drake, Solo by Future, On BS, Spin About You, More M's, Rich Flex, What You Need, Rehab, Creepin', Kill Bill, Blind, Smoking On My X Pack, Shirt, I hate you, don't, let them know, exchange, wet dreams, girls need love, I guess it's F me, little secret, poison, text go green, and massive. I'm just gonna put screenshots of the playlist. It'll just be easier for you guys to see it like that. It literally just felt like I was reading a story right now. But now that I told you guys that, I am going to do my phone home screen. So this is what it was before. Basically that, and then that's the other screen so i am going to do it for february what's in february valentine's day so that's going to be the theme for my home screen kind of yeah my lock screen is most likely going to stay the same um whiskey but home screen is going to change right now okay so i just finished and this is what it came out to look like i actually really like how it came out the calendar is like a reddish with pink i love the colors i love how it turned out like looking together the background is just like this red heart that basically looks like that and then this picture right here is actually me i have a shirt like that it says i love to make boys cry and then this widget at the bottom is just flowers and then these two say i radiate sexy mystical energy and this one says cry about it look hot and move on i actually came out really cute love how it looks 
Okay, now that I've done that, I am going to do my planner. Okay, I put like a flashlight there because the lighting looks better. But I'm going to use one of my flare pens because I actually want it to look cute for February. I don't know. I don't know if I should use this pink. I'm going to use this. This is a kind of a pink. Yeah, I'm just going to use this one. So we're going to go back to January and see what my goals were for that month. So monthly goals, I wrote four books read which I did read four books. The first one I read was One True Loves, which I vlogged that one. So go watch that video. That was five star read, loved it. Second book I read was The Last Field Party, which was in a series, a football series I read, which was also really good. The next book I read was Layla by Colleen Hoover, which I really enjoyed too. And the last book I read, which I finished it literally the last day of January, was A Thousand Boy Kisses which I didn't love as much, but it was still like really good. So I did read four books, so I'm gonna check that off. Win States, that's checked off too. We did get um, first place in our lyrical, so yeah. If you didn't know that, then you didn't watch the last video, so go watch the last video. Then Principal's Honor Roll. I'm pretty sure I did get Principal's Honor Roll. I got all A's and two B's. Last year, that used to be considered Principal's Honor Roll, but this year, I don't know if they changed it to one B or not, but I'm still considering it Principal's Honor Roll because I tried so hard for that. And last thing I put was make my bed every day, which I did not do. And I realized I don't really want to make my bed. It doesn't motivate me that much. doesn't make me happy if I see it made. So now, oh my God, I just painted on my pillow. Oopsies. Well, now for the month of February, my monthly goals, I am going to put, I don't know, I think I'm going to put to read three books this month because one, February is a shorter month than all the other months. And two, I do have a lot of stuff going on in this month. I do want to do a Valentine's Day with my friends. I went out like twice this weekend. I have states coming up. I mean, sorry, nationals coming up. I think I'm just gonna put to read three books. I don't really have a lot of goals this month. Oh, I do want to start working out. I was I was literally thinking about that this morning, how I want to start working out, but I I feel like I don't have time for it. Like I literally go to school, then I have practice, I get home at like six, I eat, I shower. By the time I do all that, it's seven, then I need to do homework. So like there's no room for me to work out. I'm gonna put work out at least one time a week, which isn't it's ba basically nothing that's just like at least i that's not my, like my goal i do want to work out more than one time a week i'm just setting that goal for me like to be mandatory like at least one time because i want to start getting into working out at least one time a week because i need to start doing something i'm just put be on top of homework because my homework is just getting harder the more we get into the school year we're currently in the third quarter and we have tests coming up sats it's just gonna be a stressful month stressful next few months actually February is not gonna be that bad, but March, April, and May are gonna be literally torture. So those are the three goals I'm going to put, and that's about it. Important dates to remember. I did have a party bus this, was it Friday? Yeah, this Friday. I wanted to do this video before it so I could write it down in the planner. I'm still gonna write it down even though it already happened, but I did wanna tell you guys, I did have a party bus. The 10th, I'm doing a Galentine's with my friends. So I'm gonna write that down. The 14th obviously is Valentine's and it's my grandpa's birthday. The 21st, we have a pep rally and then we leave for competition. The lighting is gonna have to go away. Oh, we leave March 2nd, so not that bad. So that's for next month. I don't have to write that down. But for the 21st, I have a pep rally and it's poster day for my team which is basically where we pick someone's name like a few days before and we have to make a poster for them for nationals. And it's basically like a good luck poster, super cute. And then we take them to nationals and we put them on our windows. Yeah, that's super cute. Oh, the 11th, I have the curriculum fair, which is basically an event me and my team have to go to at the school. So now I'm gonna go to the actual calendar and start writing everything down. Like the practices I have when there's no school, all the events I have. So yeah, I'm gonna do that right now and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I basically wrote everything down, all the practices that I have, all the events I have, and I decorated February at the top with like little hearts. But yeah, that's basically it for my February planner. Oh, I do wanna add one of my little fortunes like I did last month. The one I put last month was write your life's 
events in a journal. Now, the ones I have left are a very attractive person has a message for you. All things are difficult before they are easy. Among the lucky, you are the chosen one. Always a valley before a hill. Love yourself first and everything falls into line. I think... I don't know if I want to do the attractive... A very attractive person has a message for you. Or love yourself first and everything falls into line since it's like Valentine's Day. I think I'm just gonna put both because why not? That'll be cute. So I'm gonna get tape, tape that there, and then we'll continue. Now I'm gonna tell you guys some of the books I wanna read this month. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys, even though I put I wanna read three books this month, I am gonna tell you guys books that I'm probably gonna read this month, basically. I actually just finished All Your Perfects. This morning I finished it and it was really, really good. I gave it four and a half stars. It was a really good book. The only thing that kind of bothered me is like how much of the book was about Quinn's problem. So basically it's about Quinn and Graham. I don't know if it's Graham or Graham. I called him Graham. I don't think that's how you say it. I think it's Graham. I'm just going to say Graham because I think that's how you say it, but I haven't been saying it like that. Anyway, it's about Quinn and Graham. Basically how they meet it's just how they meet is crazy. It's the best meet I've ever seen, to be honest. Then it goes from like past and present, how their marriage is now, and basically how they were when they first got together. They're experiencing problems because of this thing that Quinn has to deal with. Honestly, it was a really good book. I have no complaints about it, except how much of the book was about like Quinn's issue that she has. It was just like, that's what the whole book was about, basically. But their romance was good. I love Graham. He's such a sweetheart. He's so cute. But yeah, gave it four and a half stars. Wasn't that bad. The next book I'm going to read, I think, is going to be better than the movies. I got this book the other day, actually. I'm actually going to give you guys a haul of all the books I got. Because I don't think I gave you guys... I got a bunch of books the other day. And I don't think I ever gave you guys a haul of the books I got. I'm going to do that right now. So basically, I went to Target the other day and I went to the book section and I was like, you know what? I'm going to just get books. I got Better Than The Movies. I've heard so much about this book. One of the girls I watch on YouTube, I can't remember her, what her name is, literally obsessed with this book. It's like her favorite book ever. She gave it five stars. So yeah, I want to read this book. It's like meant for Valentine's Day. Not really, but like it gives off Valentine's Day vibes, like the little hearts in the back and Better Than The Movies. I don't know. I feel like it's meant for Valentine's Day. So I do want to read this. I think this is going to be my next read, actually. I'm probably going to start it today or tomorrow. But the other books I got were The Dead Romantics. I was going to read this book before this, but I was like, no, this doesn't really seem like it's meant for Valentine's Day in February. So I'm just going to read it like another time. I don't really know what any of these books are about. I kind of just grabbed them because I've heard of them, but I don't really know what they're about. So got this one. I got Underneath the Sycamore Tree. I heard about this book from Steph. All the book readers know who Steph is, but she literally loved this book. I saw her talking about it on TikTok, so I decided to get it. Next book I got was Things We Never Got Over, which this is the fattest book I've ever bought in my life. It's like 500 pages, so I don't know when I'm gonna get to this because I'm a slow reader and I procrastinate. I'm especially gonna pro procrastinate a book like this. I've heard good things about this book, so I wanna get to it soon. Next book I got was The Cruel Prince, which I'm pretty sure this is still a romance, but it's like fantasy, I think, I don't know. But again, this is a very popular book. Can't wait to read that. And then, if you know me, you know I love this book. I got The Summer Broken Rules because I already read this book. When I read it, I read Marcella's book. When I gave it back to her, she was like, oh, why didn't you annotate? But I just didn't want to like annotate on her book. But then I saw it at Target and I was like, I have to get my own copy because I'm literally obsessed with this book. I'm actually probably gonna make a video of me like rereading it during the summer and you don't understand how excited I am to reread this book. I'm, I just love this book so much. So yeah, those are all the books I got at Target the other day, but Better Than the Movies is the next book I want to read. And then some other books I have written down. I have The Do-Over that I want to read. Supposedly, it's literally about Valentine's Day. She keeps, like, reliving the same day, which is Valentine's Day. That's, like, perfect. I think I'm going to read that book after Better Than The Movies or while I'm reading Better Than The Movies on my phone. So, yeah, those are, like, three books already. Better Than The Movies, The Do-Over, and then I already read All Your Perfects. And then if I run out of books to read, I'll probably start The Dead Romantics. That's basically all I have to say about 
books. Okay, so it is now 7 o'clock. I really haven't been doing much. All I've been doing is scrolling through TikTok. I started reading better than the movies, actually. I got, I only read the prologue and chapter one. And then I ate dinner and now I'm gonna get in the shower. I literally don't really do much in the shower, actually, like nothing at all. So after I get in the shower, I'm gonna do a face mask because I actually wanted to do a face mask the other day, but I just wasn't in the mood. So I'm gonna do one today. This is actually the last one I have. Well, it's not the last one I have. I actually have these face masks, but they're like a bubble sheet. Um, so your face gets all bubbly and stuff, but I wanna save those for competition so that me and my roommates could do it in the room while we're not sleeping. So that'll probably be in the Composition vlog, but this is basically the last one I have so I'm gonna use it tonight and then after that I am going to journal. Yeah, but right now I'm gonna get in the shower. Hi guys, so I just got out of the shower. I am going to do the face mask now. I actually reorganized this drawer here, but you guys didn't know what it looked like before so I'm not gonna show you, but I like reorganized it. I took some stuff out because I wanted to fit these clips in here that my mom got that I found in another drawer but they're like gold and they're so cute there's four of them but I wanted to put them in there I'll probably use them tomorrow for school actually so now onto the face mask it says unfold face mask gonna apply to clean dry face leave on for 10 to 20 minutes then remove and then gently massage oh this has a lot of like juices oh you guys can't even see me okay it smells really good actually every time I put one of these masks on though they're like huge on my face oh it's really slimy again i look crazy so i'll be back when i take this off i'm gonna put a timer i'm gonna put a timer for 15 minutes since it said 10, 10 to 20 minutes so i'll be back okay it has been like 17 16 minutes so i'm gonna take this stupid mask off now that felt so great to take that off finally. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just wash it off basically. I said to massage it. I don't know what that means though. Oh, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, I have a pimple on my cheek. Okay, I feel like that actually, that actually worked better. You can't really tell on the camera, but I feel like that actually worked better than the one I did in my last video, which I think it was the reindeer one, which makes sense to be honest. Why would a reindeer mask work? But my face feels like so much better. Now I am going to curl my lashes and then put cream on my face. If you've seen my videos before, you know why I curl my lashes before I go to bed, even though I'm literally not going anywhere. Um, but if you don't know, it's just this thing I do. I don't know why, I don't know where I got this from, but I curl my lashes every night before I go to bed and before I put my cream on because they just make them longer. And when I wake up, I feel like they look longer. But that may just be me, I don't know. Maybe I'm actually just delusional, but. Okay, so now that I've done that and I'm done with my face and done with all that, self-care, face routine, night routine stuff. I am gonna go back to my room and we're going to do some journaling. Okay, actually before I journal, I am going to set up my book bag and my duffel bag for tomorrow because I do have school tomorrow and I do have practice tomorrow. So I'm gonna set that up. Also, my mom brought me more clothes to put away, which is the whites. So I'm gonna do all of that off camera. So I'll get back to you guys when we actually start journaling. Okay, I'm in bed now and I have my journal and I am just going to do the journaling prompt that I always use, which is just like the monthly reset, beginning of the month. It basically asks previous month highlight, focus on more this month, want to accomplish less of, more of, and then manifest at the bottom. And I've done it for December, I did it for January, and now I am going to do it for February. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay guys, so I just finished my February reset. Look how cute. I did like the title and all that. So cute. But it says February reset, previous month highlight. I put going out and competition because I honestly did go out a lot in January and competition went well. What to focus on more? I put homework because not that I've been slacking on homework. I just, I have been doing better to be honest, but I do feel like I can do even better. 
So my dance solo, I don't focus focus on it that much. So I do want to practice it more and get all my moves down packed before nationals. And last thing I put was time for myself. And then in parentheses, I put workout, read, etc. Because I just need time for myself sometimes. Next was want to accomplish. I put good score on my DIT test, which is digital information technology. Um, it's a class I have. It's a requirement. So I have to pass the test. That's based, That's this Friday, actually. Which is just going up on Wednesday, so. I put aesthetic Instagram posts because I haven't posted that much on Instagram recently. And I'm going to a brunch. Oh my god, I forgot to put that on my planner, actually. But I do have brunch the 19th or 18th for my friend's birthdays, both of their birthdays. Valentine's Day, I do want to post too, so. And then last thing I put was calm, relaxed, stress-free. Because why not? Then I put less of laziness, screen time, negativity. Basically what I put every month. And then I put more of driving, pool to the beach, friend hangouts, reading, and working out. And then the last thing I did was do my manifesting. February's reset actually came out really cute. I'm obsessed with how it turned out. I'm actually going to go add that brunch to my planner because I completely forgot about it. So I'm going to go add that. This is basically where I'm going to end the video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and turn your post notifications so you know when I post my next video. And I will see you guys in that next video. Bye, guys.